at 1 p.m. Eastern time, December 6th, today, Wednesday, President Trump will officially announce plans to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and to direct the State Department to begin plans to move the United States Embassy to Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. White House officials say no borders within Israel will change. No borders within Jerusalem will change. That'll be up to Israel and the Palestinian Authority to hash that out. White House officials say this move is based on just a recognition of reality. I mean, the fact is, for 70 years, the seat of Israel's government has been Jerusalem. This is just acknowledging what the facts are on the ground. Um, Trump's announcement fulfills his campaign promise to move the U.S. Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Now, Palestinian authorities, of course, not happy about this. They declared the Mideast peace process dead. As if it wasn't already. Calling this a declaration of war. Turkey announced it would host a meeting of Islamic nations next week in Ankara to give Muslim country leaders, Muslim countries leaders, a, uh, an opportunity to coordinate a response to this move. Israel, of course, happy with the outcome. Uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu uh, said on Facebook that our historical national identity is receiving important expressions every day. Trump administration officials say the president would delay the embassy move for six months with a waiver. This is required by U.S. law. This will give the State Department time to procure land and begin construction of this new embassy. But truth be told, unless there are logistic things or, or infrastructure things that... Uh, I admittedly probably don't know about, the United States could have the embassy in Jerusalem effective today just by changing the sign on the American consulate in Jerusalem. Now, the reason the government's not doing that is probably there are some infrastructure things that an embassy would have that the consulate does not have. So um, the plan is to build a new embassy in Jerusalem. And again, that process there have been rumors about that process ongoing for uh, quite some time. The response from American media is about what you'd expect. On CNN, Fareed Zakaria said that Israel doesn't need the U.S. as an ally anymore in the sense that they're already, Israel that is, the most powerful force on the ground in the Middle East. What they need is the U.S. to have credibility with the Palestinians in order to secure peace. Look, we've been trying to play the credibility game for the last 70 years. Congress passed a law in 1995 to move the embassy to Jerusalem. And presidents ever since, Clinton, Bush, Obama, and for his uh, first six months, President Trump, have delayed the move, delayed implementing the law on the grounds that it would be harmful to security in the Middle East. Look, again, ignoring reality on the ground has not brought peace to the Middle East. So let's just take this off the table and go from there. Palestine, Israel's capital is Jerusalem. Deal with it.